Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Anime King. And today I'm going to be giving you part 23 of what if Naruto became the god of lightning. Remember to get this one to 100 likes as usual. Share this to all of your friends in your social media platform. And also guys, go ahead and check out the brand new episode of what if Naruto awakened the Renny Tentagon over on Anime King 3. And enjoy that guys. And I also posted a brand new episode of What If Naruto Was Neglected and Lost Everything over an Anime King 2. If you're new, yes, you heard that correctly, I indeed have three channels. Anime King, Anime King 2, Anime King 3, which I post What If on every single day for you guys to enjoy. So go ahead and click that red subscribe button and become part of the Anime King family. Links will be down in the description for you guys to enjoy. So without further ado, what is to begin this new episode? Start the intro. So, the last spot we left off as Sasuke was remembering about the past when he ran into Naruto and they had a talk. But before he could dive deeper into that talk, he was interrupted as Aruchimar made himself be known as he had something for Sasuke to do. Meanwhile, that was going on. Naruto and the group quickly made their way as they dashed from tree branch to tree branch. They had dealt with Itachi and Kisame. As the group remained behind, dealt with Itachi as they were able to defeat him. Well, he was not the real Itachi, just 30% of Itachi's actual chakra. As they took him down and Naruto reappeared. So with that, they continued on. As Kakashi saw the seal, he figured that it was a four prompt seal. With each of them have to remove a prompt inside the forest or somewhere close by. But Naruto could deal with it without that. As Samoe praises calligraphy and also is fooling jutsu. He's gotten quite good at it. Everyone witnessed that when the seal suddenly fizzled away. But it was already too late as Sakura burst down the wall. They went inside as Gara was already dead. Deidara was caught completely off guard when Ruta's feet smashed into his face. The speed was just immense as Naruto caught Gara's body and jumped away. As he handed the body down to a clone. Deidara tried to flee making Ruta follow behind him. Despite knowing Naruto Afinte, he still wanted to fight him to show that he can overcome his weakness but that was the wrong thing to do as Samoe made their way off with Naruto as the others stayed behind and took care of Sasori. They had Chiyo and her knowledge on puppets so they could take Sasori down. Meanwhile, Deidara was flying in the sky but that was a wrong place to be when fighting someone like Naruto. A lightning bolt took him down off his bird. A battle then ensued between them, a rather vicious battle. But all of this was just a distraction. As Naruto filled the entire ear with electricity, as everyone here on their head was standing up. Deidre didn't stand a chance as the clay was no longer working as Naruto beat the living crap out of him. Naruto then asked him something about the giant statue that they had been putting the tail beast inside of. The look on Deidre's face was all that Naruto needed as it was just something that Kramo was telling him about and now it was confirmed. They were trying to bring back something very old and very powerful. Now it all made sense why. They were collecting tail beasts. As Naruto hadn't tell anyone yet except for Samoe, what the fox thought of the state of the world when the tail beasts were collected was going to happen, and it was some really troublesome news. So, with that, Naruto took care of Deidara as he obliterated the man with a javelin made from pure lightning. Zetsu was a distance away as he had saw the interaction between them. He couldn't go close enough to hear what they were saying because of all the electricity in the area. They made their way back towards the group. As Gara was already dead. So the victory didn't seem that happy. Chiyo then saw the look on Naruto's face. She knew Naruto quite well and a powerful ninja he was. As she saw the emotions. Knowing that Gara had his life taken away from him. After he strived to become Kazakage. Her time was gonna end soon after all she was old. 
So why not help the younger generation? As with that, she exchanged her life for Gaurus. The group had made way back as a memorial was kept for Chiu. As Sakura told Ruta what Sasura said to her after they defeated him. As he gave them the location of one of his spies that were going to meet up with Orochimaru. As Naruto told her that they will find Sasuke no matter what. As Zetsu then made his way towards Nagato and told him about the battle. But Nagato said that it did not matter. One way or another, all of the Jinjul kids will get captured and the Bijus will be extracted. And no one will stop his plan. So yeah guys, was this guy has left off you guys can switch across the place and check it out for yourself. So this is beginning this new episode. We begin this episode in the office. The only person that was in there was Naruto and Snavi. A sound of pleasure could be heard. But it wasn't what you were thinking. Snavi was on the couch with Naruto behind her. As his fingertips were electrified. As he massaged her shoulders. You know kid, I'm not complaining. But why the hell are you doing this again? Asked Nadi, as he had just offered to do this. What? You're the Hokage. I'm just helping you out, Naruto. And besides, we're like family. Given that I'm part Uzumaki. And your grandmother was Uzumaki as well, said Naruto. That still doesn't answer my question, she said. Well, my girlfriend has rather big assets as well. And she always complained from pain. Mainly in her shoulder areas and her back as well. And I figure out this nice way of relieving that pain with my fingers. Massage, said Naruto. Not anything perverted. As you can see, it's working wonders, right? Releasing all the stress from your joints. You still don't answer my question, said Snavi, as her eyes were closed, enjoying the bliss feeling. Well, you might be pissed at me sooner or later. So I'm just doing this to make up for that. So whenever you're pissed about my actions, just remember that I gave you a massage and I'm the only one that can make it feel so enjoyable, said Naruto, as she felt the electricity run down her skin. And tell me, why do I have to get mad at you? Did you do something? Well, no, said Naruto. But she asks. We'll get to it when the problem arises. You know that that sounds rather suspicious, right? That you're doing something that would cause so much problem that you have to give me a massage first so I won't get pissed at you. Is this a national security emergency? Perhaps I should send you to Ibiki for interrogation. Oh, nothing like that, said Naruto. Come on, don't you trust me, he said. Well, yeah, she said. You're one of my best ninjas. So why shouldn't I trust you? Just make sure you don't do anything stupid. Or I will palm your face in the ground. Noted, said Naruto. As he tried to move his hand, hey! I didn't tell you to stop, said Snavi, as that made Naruto laugh. It has been three days since they came back from the mission, where they took care of Deidara and Nogara was back alive, thanks to the sacrifice of Chiyo, as people would always remember the woman that gave her life for the Kasakaki. Sasuke was originally a part of Team 7, so Snavi gave Naruto and his team the mission to find information on Uchimaru, and if they could find Sasuke, they should bring him back as well. As the whole meeting, Naruto looked rather happy. Snadi would have think that he would have been pissed because he always said that he was going to beat the crap out of Sasuke and return with him. But yet, he had a happy persona about him. Hmm, probably his new girlfriend, she thought to herself. He's just happy that she's here with him. She shrugged that off as the massage was too enjoyable. You know, I'm going to have to give you a D-rank mission just to come and massage me every now and then, she said. The door then opened up. What's going on? said Shizune. As Snavi looked towards her, she finally opened her eyes. I'm getting a massage, can't you see? As Shizune chuckled awkwardly. You seem tense as well, said Naruto. As a clone poofed the existence and grabbed Shizune and placed her on the couch. No, Naruto, I'm quiet. The words were lost in her mouth as the electricity flowed on her skin. Oh my god, she said. It's amazing, right? said Snavi. As she just leaned back into the touch. Nurutakan, where did you learn to do something like this? Practice and practice makes perfect. Meanwhile, the hot spring. As Hinata, Samoy, Sakura, and Ino and Tintin were in the hot spring. Sakura was glancing around. Everyone here, even Tintin, had her beat. Tintin was just a bit bigger than her in the chest compartment. But Samoy, Samoy put Hinata to shame. 
Hinata wasn't so self-conscious as before, so she wasn't hiding her chest in front of her female companions. But God, just coming. Samui's chest was just beyond. Yet the girl was relaxed, her eyes closed. So, said Ino, how's Naruto? Fine as hell, said Samui, in a rather cool tone. Tintin couldn't help it, this girl was really cool. She just had this persona about her, she was laid back, easy going and nice at the same time. And not to mention she was fun. Was all, Kumo Kunoichi is this way. Oh, I thought you were referring to his personality and looks. Otherwise, he's okay. Wonderful in bed. What? said Ino. Well, he's amazing. Like, I mean, bed shattering amazing. And he can go for a long, a long, long time. All the girls start to blush as Sakura turn her head away. Hinata sink into the water as Ino got a bit of red in her cheeks. Tintin start to drift away a bit slowly. So what about you girls? Don't you have someone ruffling your feathers, said Samui. You're quite abrasive, said Hinata. As Samui turned towards her, we're Kunoichi, right? And plus we're ninjas, we live and fight on the field. What's the point of being all shy and not expressing what you think? So, you're cute. And not to mention, you have a wonderful figure, said Samui. As she checked out Hinata, making the girl blush red. N no, said Hinata, I... I don't have anyone at the moment. Hmm. You're lost. What about you, Tintin? Nah, not me either. I guess you're the only one that has a boyfriend here. Really? Even you, Eno? Yeah, single Eno said. As she then turned towards Sakura. I already know that you're single. Seeing that you're trying to steal my boyfriend. What? How many times do I have to tell you? You know that she tried to seduce Naruto? What? Ino said. Yeah, in the hotel. She wanted her to sleep with her. Sakura lowered her head under the water as bubbles started to come on the surface. As her eyes opened under the water, her eyes went wide as she realized she could see everything down here as she burst out of the water. Don't tell me you're not going after me. Do you swing both ways? asked Samui. Sakura turned her back. I, I'm done with this conversation, she said. As Samui started to laugh. I guess you're not in tune my sense of humor yet. Don't worry, you'll get it soon enough. So, are you and Naruto like past the childish level? What do you mean, said Samui? Well, there is dating. And describing from your relationship the way you're talking, I mean, you sound like you're really intimate with him. Yeah, that's right. So, you two plan on getting married? Well, we're still young. But I don't see why not. He's awesome. I'm awesome. Awesome and awesome make perfect. Plus, we can have wonderful little babies. Hmm. I guess you already have your future lock already. But what about um your village? Aren't they gonna say something about you just coming here to live with Naruto? Well, I don't have a lot of friends. In fact, you guys are... Well, if we are friends, I'm not sure yet. Because it's not like we knew each other for long, but... I don't have enough girlfriends, as you would say. The only person that I have as girlfriends was Karu and Yujito. And they're back home, and other than that, I don't really socialize with much people because they don't get my sense of humor. Because you don't have a filter, said Sakura. You speak what's ever on your mind. That kind of, well, don't give much room for people to react. But you guys are cool with it, right? Said Samui. Yeah, said Sakura. I know you're joking, so... I'm cool with it, she said. Me too, said Tintin. That made the three of us, said Ino. I am as well, said Hinata. As she looked towards the girl. She could see why Naruto fell in love with this girl. As the both of them had a similar attitude. While Naruto wasn't so abrasive as her. Well, maybe he had changed over the couple of years. But he had already told her that he loved someone. So... She did not pry so much on that, despite her still having feelings for him whenever she saw him. But still, as long as he was happy, she can be happy as well. And this girl was good. She was good for him. So Hinata felt jealous, but not that much. Time skip. As Sakura and Samui was the only one left, 
others had separated to go home as the both of them were making their way. They would soon separate as they were talking at the moment. So this Sosuke guy, what about him? Well I met him when I came here before June exams. He wasn't a bad guy and he seems really nice back then. Well the nice like I will understand because his attitude is a bit stern. So hearing that he defected it was quite surprising. Yeah, said Sakura. It hurt a lot of people. So you love him, huh? Sakura face turned a bit red. Yeah, she said. Come on, why look down? You don't need to be ashamed of that. When you love someone, you love someone. And when that feeling of love and bliss appears, you just can't get rid of it no matter what. Is that how you feel about Naruto? Every single day, said Samui. I love him. And nothing can change my mind about that. So don't give up on your dream. Besides, Naruto's gonna rescue your friend. You can count on him. And I'll be there to give back up and support. Thanks, Sucker said. Who knows, soon enough, you might have him in your life once again. But this time I hope you're not shy to tell him what you actually feel. Maybe he will open up as well. See ya. As Samui sparked away from her, going towards the house. Wait, can we do this again? Like, catch up and talk, said Samui. As the girl was different from the others, she understand what Sakura felt for Sasuke. She couldn't talk to Ino with this because Ino was crushing on Sasuke as well. Hinata wouldn't understand that way. Ten Ten, she didn't hang out with that much. Yeah, sure, but not tonight. Me and Naruto are gonna have sex. Sakura face turned red as she just ran off, making Samui laugh. See you later, said Samui as she made her way inside. Time skip. The days fly past really quickly. As the day finally arrived, the team was gone. Kakashi had gotten enough rest after using his Sharingan. He didn't push himself to go beyond that level, so he wouldn't be completely exhausted. And not to mention he had Sakura and Chio for support. So right now the team was gone to subdue this informant so they could get information on Orochimaru and perhaps find where Sasuke was. As Naruto seemed really confident that they could get him back. Shizune came in the office. Lady Snavi, she said. Shizune, what is it? Well, it's a letter from... Kiri. Kiri? Snavi was confused. Are you sure? As Shizune placed on the letter, it was stamp. With a Kage stamp, that means Snavi was only to read it. After she removed the seal. But they have been locked down their borders for years now. Do you think they are finally ready to open up? But why would they send us a letter? Said Shizune. I have no idea. Said Snavi as she opened the letter. After removing the seal, she started to read. Her eyes went wide as she read more and more. Lady Snavi, what's wrong? A thought then flashed through her head. Naruto told me that he gave away the Kiba Blades for the benefit of Konoha. God knows what that means, said Jiraiya. This kid is something else. He really is. Lady Snavi, what's... As Snavi threw the scroll towards Shizune, Shizune read it. She looked towards Snavi after reading it. Is this for real? Yeah, seems so. Time skip, the team was currently the inn as they had to stop for the night. As they were in different rooms, as Samui was lying on Naruto's chest. As she was listening to his heart beat. She looked up towards him as he was just near up at the ceiling. Are you ready for this, she said. Of course I'm ready, said Naruto. Have you ever seen me faltered yet? Well, not in bed, she said. But sometimes you can't let your emotions go wild. And I need to know if I had to get everyone away from you because you can become a bit destructive when you do that. Don't worry, said Naruto. This will be quick and easy. From the reports I've gotten, he's gotten a lot weaker since then. Not that I want him to be weaker because I want to pummel his face in the ground. Knowing that he was at his best and he couldn't beat me. You know, if it was anyone else, I would have said that they are mad, wanting a son to be at their fullest. But knowing you and knowing what you can do, I can't even doubt it one bit, she said. But I can't doubt you, she said. As she reached up and kissed them. But are you sure it's not wise to tell the others? Well, it's not gonna do anything wrong, said Naruto. And besides, let's make it a surprise. Even though the Hokage might be pissed at me when she finds out, but still, said Naruto. 
I'm doing this for Sakura. It was just a coincidence all those years ago, but it turned out into a gesture of good fate. If you say so, she said, as she placed her head back on his chest. Just make sure you're focused and level headed when you do this. Aren't I always? No, not really, she said. As Naruto laughed at that, the laughter made his chest vibrate as she just snuggled up into his hole. He placed the armor on her. Everything's gonna be fine, he said to her. Time skip. The group was currently in a clearing. They were here before the person arrived to set up and prepare. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure, said Naruto as he looked towards Kakashi. Kakashi looked at the ceiling paper in his hand. And what makes it different from a normal transformation? Well, if the person is good at genjutsu or anything, or illusion breaking, they won't be able to break this one so easily. As Naruto take by the paper from Kakashi and pulse his chakra into it, it turned red as he placed on Kakashi's forehead. Now, focus on the image, said Naruto. That Kakashi did as his body slowly poof. The next thing he knew, he was sorcery. Whoa. It actually feel Kakashi blink. Even the voice as well. Seals are really a wonderful thing, said Naruto. After all, we need this. If that person is any skill like ninjutsu or anything, they might be able to see through your illusion. And we can't afford that to happen before we find out where the hell is Sasuke or Orochimaru. Or if they try to commit suicide, these guys that work for Orochimaru are really self-indebted. So yeah, that's really awesome, Naruto, said Sakura. I never knew that you were this adapted to Funjutsu. Well, almost a master, said Naruto, but not perfect. But I do know Fuinjutsu that not even Jaraya knew. Seems I'm just a perfect person for it. Maybe it's because of my Uzuma heritage. You're bragging, said Samui. Well, sometime you have to brag, said Naruto. Well, said Kakashi. Let's do this. As the bridge was silent, the breeze blew calmly. The grass ruffled. Slowly, Sasori made his way towards the bridge. Kakashi in disguise. So far, the ceiling tag was working perfectly, giving away nothing. Suddenly, Sasori came to a stop when the person at the end of the bridge appeared right on time. The person started slowly make his way. Ah, Sasori Dano, he said, right on time. You know I don't like to be kept waiting, said Sasori. And in proxy, I don't like to keep people waiting as well. That you do. So, shall we get down to business? The purse removed his cloak. Sasori remained calm, Kakashi did under his cloak, as he knew who this bastard was. Meanwhile, Naruto clenched his fists in the bushes. Sakura blinked as she whispered. That's... As she tried to recall the Kabuta, right? Yes, said Naruto. Seems that the bastard reattached his arm. What do you mean, she asks. Last time we fight, I can't have slice off his arm, said Naruto. Seems like he reattached it. That Kabuta did. This is perfect, said Naruto. How? Asked Sakura. Because he's Orochimaru's right hand man. If anyone would know where Sasuke is, he will know. Well, this is perfect, she said. Now to do this, said Naruto, as he beat his thumb. Naruto, what are you doing? Don't worry, said Naruto, as he had a seal on his palm. No one will sense the chakra output. As he slammed his hand down, there was a poof. As a small toad appeared. A green, green, fully green toad with red stripes going down his back. Hey, Gamajito, I need you to make your way outside the clearing. And whenever you see someone pass, follow them, okay? And I need you to pinpoint their exact location. As the toad nodded, as it made its way off. Naruto, what are you doing, Aksakura? Precaution. For what? Him, said Naruto. But we can subdue him, she said. He might be strong, but he can't escape us all. Oh, not Kabuto, said Naruto. Him. Suddenly, Kabuto leaped away as someone came from the bushes. My, my. A private party. Why wasn't I invited to the voice? It was none other than the snake Sani himself, Orochimaru. Kakashi cursed as this arrival was unseen. Well, Sasori Dano, shall we slice? As Kabuto had tear right through the puppet. As Kakashi jumped out as he landed. You must be surprised, Kakashi Hatsuki. Well, I must say I'm surprised as well. I never expected to see you here. But this is surely <laughs> better than what I thought. Well, Kakashi, why don't you call out those flash, flash, flash? Three people land on the bridge. <laughs> Beat me to it. 
Ah, Naruto-kun, said Orochimaru. It's been a long time. My, have you grown? How much time do I have to tell you, said Naruto. I'm not into guys, and really, if I was. Not to you, said Naruto. <laughs> jokes after jokes. Well, seems like you haven't changed that much. Oh, I have, said Naruto. I'm just making sure you can enjoy your last moment of breath. Oh? Quite presumptuous. And for you to be so grateful to grant me an enjoyable moment before I die. I'm honored, Orchimar says. He bowed his head. Oh. You don't know the half of it, said Naruto. As he move. He move. Kabuta blink. Fast. That was the word that came from his mouth. Shot by Naruto's speed as Naruto moved past him. Orochimar brought out the Kusanagi blade rather quickly as he blocked the Raijin blade that had appeared in a second and ignited. Kabuta saw open as he rushed towards Naruto's back to impale Naruto. Only for him to leap out of the way as several kunais hit the ground. Oh, I'll deal with you later, said Naruto. I still remember you stabbing me in the back and you're gonna pay. As Kabuta had to leap as Sakura fist smashed the ear where he was. As she clenched her fist, and I still remember you kicking me in the face, she said, Oh my, all of you getting up on poor little me. Yes, he's right, said Orochimaru. Leave Kabuta alone. He's been through a lot. Having to retouch his arm and all that, the pain. That's because of you, Nurtakan. Enough talk, snake freak. Let's do this. As the both of them vanish. As Kabuta was left on the bridge, Kakashi was in front of him. Behind him was Sakura, and to his left was Samui. Seems I've got myself in quite the pickle, he said. Meanwhile, my my, Orochimaru says he came to a stop. You have gotten a lot stronger. As their blades clashed again, sparks flying everywhere. Orochimaru came up with his arm, tried to grab Naruto by the throat. But Naruto twisted his blade in seconds. Orochimaru had to move back before he lost the arm. Oh, you haven't seen half of it, snake freak. Hmm. Not a nickname I like that much, Urchimar said. Well, not that I care about your opinion. But what do you expect me to call you, said Naruto. You are mostly based on Snake. And you are a freak. And how would you tell that, Urchimar said. Well, judging from past and rumors and... I must be mistaken, aren't you, Urchimar the Snake Sonny? Well, you must not believe everything you heard. So tell me, said Naruto. Where's Sasuke? Oh, my Sasuke-kun. See what I'm talking about? My Sasuke-kun. Why would you say that, said Naruto? Urchimaru snarled at that. Do you want to know or not? Go ahead. Well, my Sasuke-kun has grown. A lot. Much like you. You know, it would be quite interesting to see how far the both of you are come. Put me up against Sasuke. Are you sure that's why, said Naruto? Well, it's a matter of testing his skills to see how far he has come. Yeah, but still. Haven't you heard of me, said Naruto. Yes, quite a lot. I mean, the God of Lightning. Quite a shocking development. You must have gotten a lot, lot stronger. I wonder though, which teacher did the best, me or Jiraiya? As Naruto swing Orchimar duck, Orchimar came up as he opened his mouth. Three snakes came from it. As Naruto smirked as he tilted his head back, the snakes passing over his head. As he sliced them to pieces, Orchimar slammed the fist in Naruto's gut. Only for Naruto to explode in lightning as Orochimaru burst into a log. The two of them reappeared. Hm. Quite skilled indeed. You have grown a lot, my Naruto-kun. Stop saying this, my, 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 said Naruto. I'm not yours and you're not in control of people. Well, you believe what you want, Orochimaru said, and I believe what I want. Yeah, you can say that, said Naruto. Thanks for talking that much. Orochimaru looked down as he cursed. The ground had a strange seal on it. What is this, he said. Their execution, said Naruto, as Urchimaru could not move. You see, this seal is going to bind the both of us here. And you won't be able to move and dodge that. Urchimaru looked over as he saw another copy of Naruto held up his both arms. As lightning started to vibrate around him, he started to condense them into two lightning balls before he forced those balls together, creating a massive spear that he held up. Urchimaru snarled. You would do that with you in here as well. Come on. You really believe I'm real? As Naruto poofed away, 
Urchimon curse and he looked towards the ball. Take this, you sneak freak. Lightning release. As Naruto condensed the lightning, Kazakami's spear as he threw it, as the thing erupted the moment he touched the seal, swallowing up the entire ear in a bright explosion that shook the place violently. Over back to the side, a fist smashed into Kabuto's face. As the man was thrown like a rag doll before he burst through several trees, as Kakashi dropped from above and slammed his knee into Kabuto's chest, the man dropped to the ground hard, his face swollen, his chest badly bruised as Kakashi leaped away. Kabuto coughed up blood violently. Before, his hand was pinned behind him as he slammed face first into a tree. As Samui attached the ninja wires to him before she pulled the seal. Thank you, Naruto. She slammed it right in the back of Kabuto's head. As all the light left Kabuto's eyes, he fell down unconscious. As Sakura emerged back, along with the group, well, that's taken care of, she said. As she blew her fist off, revenge for the last time he kicked her in the face. Let's go find Naruto, she said. And with that, the group moved off with the unconscious, Kabuto being carried by a clone of Kakashi. Meanwhile, Orochimaru just came from a regurgitating from his own mouth. Huh. As I expected, said Naruto. It's really hard to kill you, isn't it? Well, that short second that you fire off your attack, it destroyed your seal because it completely demolished the ground, Orochimaru said. But still, your attack wounded me quite a lot. To the point where I have to shed my own skin. You have become powerful, Naruto the last time. You didn't even stand a chance against me. And you had to resort to using the fox power. You and I are seeing things differently. Last time, aren't you the one that ran away, said Naruto. As with that, Urchimaru turned his head. Seems like your reinforcements are here. I knew Kabuto wouldn't be the hand of the three of them on his own. Seems I should have intervened. Well, now we have your personal lackey, said Naruto. Wonder the things we can get from him. Alright, but I'm gonna have to cut this short. As he opened his mouth, hundreds of snakes came from his mouth as they rushed towards Naruto. The snakes opened their mouth as they all had swords in their mouths. Naruto speed through Hansai as he released a massive stream of water from his mouth. Before, he went through another set of Hansai. As he then tapped his finger into the water, a pulse erupted from his finger. The snakes were electrocuted as Urchimaru started to flee. As Naruto spin, as he spin in a dome, his hand started to electrify all that electricity flew towards his finger as he cricked that javelin as he turned before throwing it the javelin sealed through the sky twisting and it turned Urchimaru leaped out of the way but the javelin turned with him he leaped up a tree as he jumped right through the javelin split the tree in half Urchimaru cursed as he turned he released a massive snake from his mouth that jumped in the way the javelin pierced right through it and kept on coming after him Urchimaru cursed as he jumped away he gathered chakra into his lungs before breathing out a massive gust. Wind was supposed to be strong against lightning, but yet, the traveling just slowed down a bit, but it was still coming. He then noticed his tiny streams of electricity going back to Naruto. The javelin started to get more brighter and brighter as Naruto kept on pumping chakra into it. Orochimaru had to, as he leaped away. As Naruto placed his another at help, more chakra kept on condensing. The javelin grew twice its size. Orochimaru slammed his hand down, summoning Rashomi, he said. As the javelin made contact with the Rashomi gate and obliterated it. But the javelin also died down as well. Orochimaru then used that distraction to get the hell out of there as he quickly made his way. As Naruto stood right there, unmoving. The next moment, Naruto said soccer. He got away, said Kakashi. Not for long. What do you mean? Well, let's hand this guy first, said Naruto. As he pulled the scroll, as the clone of Kakashi set Kabuto down, as the clone poof away, as Naruto sealed Kabuto in the scroll, that will keep him in long enough. So let's go off this snake guy, said Samui. How are we gonna know where he's going? said Kakashi. Don't worry, said Naruto. Give it a minute. Give what a minute? Just give it a minute, said Naruto, as he waited. Naruto, what's going on? said Sakura. Just a couple more seconds, said Naruto. Sakura relented as she waited as she tapped her foot on the ground. As she had no idea what the hell was going on. After a while, Naruto smiled. He slammed his hand on the ground. Poof, the toad appeared. You got it? Got what, said Kakashi? Well, I had to let Urchimaru go off and lead me to his base. You let him escape, said Kakashi. Well, kind of. 
wants to really fight Nala with Senruto. You know that's rather dangerous. If you could have taken care of him and you let him go free. Don't worry, all of this is gonna pay off in the end. Well, who am I to doubt you now, said Kakashi. Let's go. So with that, the group quickly sped off as they made their way. Orochimaru arrived at his base. As he looked towards one of his subordinates, as he told the man to go and get Sasuke immediately. They were gonna leave soon. With Kabuto being captured, they will indeed invade his mine and find out his base location. And Konoha ninjas coming down on him right now. He couldn't afford that. Not to mention he just fought Naruto. And the boy did not even use Akaibe's power. And yet he was this strong. And not to mention Orochimaru was not 100%. So that is the reason he has to get the hell out of here. As he told another to go and pat the things. This would have been much better if he had his own for. As they could have handled all the problems for the time being. But his arsenal is... People had gotten a lot weaker since. Most of his strong ones had died out. But soon enough he will get Sasuke's body. And then he will be unstoppable. No one, the Akaski, none of them will stand a chance against him no matter what or who they are. Meanwhile, Sasuke heard a knock on his door. He did not answer. The knock kept on coming over and over as he got annoyed. He opened the door. What? L Lord Orochimaru said it's time to leave. As the man backed away in fright, Sasuke is an eyes looking at him. Why? I I'm sorry, but I, I don't know, the man said. Sasuke snarled at that. I'm coming, he said. The man bowed as he made his way off. The Uchiha always scared the crap out of him, especially with those red eyes of his. Meanwhile, that's where he went. As Naruto looked towards the cave, thanks. As he pulled a chocolate bar and threw it. As a toad jumped and caught it with his tongue before he poofed away. So, said Naruto, how about we hunt a snake? With that, they made their way inside. Cautious as they made their way around. The place was filled with rooms all around. Rooms upon rooms upon rooms everywhere. These beasts are all the same, said Naruto. You've been in one of these before, Sucker asked. Yeah, he has a lot of them around the elemental nation. They always look the same way, the same design. It's like it's designed to drive you mad or something, said Naruto. Hmm, probably a tactic of his, said Samui. Perhaps, said Kakashi. As he narrowed his eyes, he heard footsteps, all of them, lean up against the wall. As someone rushed past them, I'll take the main lab and you take the other one. We have to hurry. You know what happened when Lord Urchimaru get angry. And he wants to leave immediately. So, they're leaving, said Samui. Figures that he think that Kabuto will be broken by us. And give out his base location. Well, Konoha does have the Yamanaka, said Naruto. So, let's move. Can't alone to escape. Wait, you, you think Sasuke is here at Sakura? Probably, said Naruto. But we'll deal with that later for now. Let's find this snake freak. If he's leaving, of course he wants Sasuke to leave with him. Yeah, you're right, she said. With that, they continued to scout through the base, but they found absolutely nothing. As Naruto told them that they need to split up. Moving one like this would not get anywhere fast. But Naruto created that clone to trail each of them just in case. If they got in trouble and needed help, he would blow this entire place to smithereens to find them. So with that, they all moved on. As he moved from room to room, finding absolutely nothing as Naruto was making his way. What if all of this blew up in your face? Said Grandma. Huh. Thanks for the vote of confidence, said Naruto. No, I'm just saying. You only told it some way, girl. So, if it did, you don't have to really worry because she loves you. She's not going to tell anyone. Yeah, you're right about that, but I have faith, said Naruto, that this will work out. Hmm. If you say so, said Grandma. You've been having no luck so far. Right now, you're about to be caught because... There are some guys coming from the front, the back, and the side, and the side. Huh. Screw you, overgrown furball, said Naruto. As the group intertwined in the center, but no one was there. I could have sworn I saw someone. Guess I was wrong. You idiot, stop wasting time! Do you want to be killed by Lord Urchimaru? Because I don't. So stop wasting goddamn time. Alright, fine, it was a mistake. Jeez, lay off me already. Alright, alright, it's just I was the one he told to do this. And to gather you all, so if... You guys messed up, it's on me. They all made their way. It was then one of them noticed something wrong with his friend Shadow. It was not swaying like how he was swaying. Hey. Suddenly, two hands came out of a shadow and grabbed the man's neck, snapping it. The other two tried to say something before a hand grabbed your face and smashed your head together. Three down, said Naruto. More to go. As with that, he kept on running. Meanwhile, standing at a crevice as a waterfall was in front of him. 
The waterfall was rushing down madly. As a man stood there, he looked rather calm. Eyes closed. Well, I. He was wearing a mask. The thing I hold. I check. The ring has been completely obliterated. His lightning is something different. It's unnatural like normal chakra. Not to mention he seemed to be able to control the heavens rather easily. Well, he's something special, all right. You don't just get the name God of Lightning without proving it, the masked man said. So what are we going to do? For now, nothing. Nagato said that he's going to go after him himself in case, right? Yes. Losing two members of the Akaski isn't really a problem. Losing Deidara though, that's a big loss. If it wasn't those two, it could have been someone else. Perhaps he done. Well, his immortality is good, but Deidara. Flying capability is a big loss on us, and Sorcerer's Spine at work. If this was the past, losing two members that we didn't really care about, that wouldn't be a problem. Losing two members that Kakazu kept on killing off. Where are they, by the way? They're closing in on the Navy. They will get there soon enough, said the plant man in the ground. Well, at least things are still going according to plan. Now, tell me about the woman that Uzumaki was so infatuated with as you said. Well, said Setsu. Meanwhile, Sakura was panting as she ran from room to room. It was just the feeling of seeing Sasuke in one of these rooms. It got her all hype of elated. After three years, she didn't know what he would say to her or what she would say to him. If she should smack him in the face for what he did, if he would return back to leave, she didn't know. As she was searching, she couldn't find him anywhere. Kakashi was doing the same thing as he was looking from room to room though, trying to find the snake somewhere, locate him. But there was no one in these rooms, they were all empty. He has taken out three ninjas from hidden sound so far, no more than that, as Samoe was making her way. As things hadn't started up yet, she hoped Naruto was keeping a level head, because sometimes he can let his emotion go while when he's angry so him being calm is the main key here well he has already kept calm after seeing her tomorrow so she was sure that he can hold it together as they kept on making their way as naruto finally came to a pause this place is giving me a headache he said i told you my plan why don't you just go with that as naruto spread out his senses none of them are close you know you're right why not bring him to me said naruto as he smiled meanwhile in the opposite room Further down to the south, Urchimar felt the chakra fluctuating, everyone did, until BOOM! An explosion wrought the entire place. As sound ninjas after sound ninjas started to flee out of the place, trying to find the source of the explosion. When they came upon the one and only, as Naruto smirk, sorry, don't have time for you guys. As he moved, his body was a blur. They were all taken down quickly without hesitation. Sakura quickly made her way towards a massive light. As she saw the source of light, she rushed. As she saw Naruto, Naruto she called. Naruto, as he was outside in the open. As Kakashi was rushing from the left as he appeared to her side. Samui was coming from the right. Naruto, what just? She paused when a voice called her name. Sakura. As Naruto was looking up, Kakashi figured as he looked up as well. The eyes of Sasuke Uchiha that she hasn't seen in so long looked down at her. He's grown a lot. His hair has gotten longer. He was wearing a shirt that was opened up at the front to see his chest and stomach. He was wearing a strange belt wrapped around his waist like a rope, blue pants, black sandals, a katana that was snatched right in the rope to keep it secured. As Sakura glanced towards Naruto, but he wasn't angry, he was calm. Sasuke eyes glanced down at them. It was then that Naruto spoke. Come on, are you a stripper or something? Said Naruto. What with the shirt? What? Have you turned a male prostitute? Said Naruto. Sasuke looked down towards him. And what's wrong with the way I dress? He asked. Sakura was confused as they were talking naturally. Well, you do look like a male stripper, said Naruto. It doesn't matter what you think, Sasuke said. So I guess you came here to bring me back home. Nah. I came here to make it rain, said Naruto. Seeing that you dress like a stripper, why not treat you like a stripper? Hmm. Seems you haven't changed that much. 
seems you have said Naruto into a stripper. Sasuke's eyes start to twitch as Kakashi looked over at Sasuke. You have changed, Sasuke. Yes, I have. Konoha is no longer holding me back. So changes were necessary. You all need to leave this place before you die. Oh? And who exactly is going to kill us, said Naruto. Sasuke said nothing. Sasuke. You should be apologizing for what you did all those years ago, said Sakura. And begging for our forgiveness. Those bonds are already broken. I no longer consider all of you my friends. Or anything else. Sakura clenched your fist. After everything. After everything that we went through. You say that? Those bonds were broken a long time ago. Once I find out I could gain power. So, yes, said Sasuke. Well, we're bringing you back to Konoha whether you like it or not. To make you pay for your actions and your crimes. Oh. Sasuke vanished as he reappeared beside Naruto. His hand over Naruto's shoulder. Are you really sure that you have the strength to do so? Kakashi was surprised he has gotten a lot faster. Kakashi didn't notice something with some way she wasn't reacting as she was the closest naruto but yet she did not react at sasuke movement something was off naruto flicked his wrist as his writing blade appeared as sasuke pulled his blade well then said naruto as he brought his blade down sasuke brought his blade down as well only for sakura to jump in the fray seeing that the both of them were basically holding on to each other she launched her fist towards sasuke who jumped back as Samoy pulled her blade at that moment, Kakashi noticed a late reaction. Something was really happening here. That girl loved Naruto. She wouldn't want to see anything happen to him. Her face was calm. So, Sasuke, you. As he looked towards Samoy, I heard that you're strong, but do you really think that you can take all of us on? Your former sensei, the god of light in himself, myself and Sakura here. You are strong, but are you that cocky and arrogant? You're the one that is arrogant, thinking that you can defeat a Uchiha. Let me show you otherwise, as Sasuke went through hand sign before his hand was grabbed. She's right, Sasuke-kan, said Urchimaru as he appeared. Not that you're not stronger, but the odds are stacked against you. Everything is already ready to go. You're the only one left, the most valuable, the most important. That is why I can't leave without you, Urchimaru said. As Naruto did not move or react, Urchimaru released Sasuke's arm. So then, Sasuke Kan, let us BAM! It was so unexpected and quick. Not even Urchimaru expected it, as he was on the receiving end of Sasuke black handing him. Urchimaru was too close to Sasuke for him to dodge, as Urchimaru was knocked right off the small hill, as he dropped down where Naruto and the others were. Everyone was shocked by the turn of events, except for Naruto and Samoe. As Sasuke draw his blade before jumping down. As he stood behind Urchimaru. As Naruto cracked his neck. Finally, said Naruto, what took you so long? Urchimaru looked at them before looking towards Sasuke. What is the meaning of this? He said. Do you really think I would allow you to take my body? Well, if not me, but are you really assigning with them? Do you really think this is wise, Sasuke? I can forgive your miss action right here as long as you don't do anything stupid other than this <laughs> oh orchimaru orchimaru seems like you've been played by your own good little boy nevertheless who you turn into a stripper hey i'm not dressed as a stripper said sasuke as his eyes started twitch sorry my mistake but if you keep worrying that i'm gonna call you a stripper said naruto i may even tip you as sasuke i twitch soccer was shocked was Sasuke on their side? Orchimar picked himself up as Naruto smiled gleefully as his eyes became slits. As he looked towards Samoy, Alright, we need to back up, she said towards Kakashi and Sakura. What? Just back up. It's safer that way. Well, 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 said Naruto as his voice got darker as he spoke. I told you the next time we meet each other, you're good as dead. No, this time. I'm gonna tear you apart. As Sasuke swing his blade towards Urchimaru's head, as Naruto stepped forward, 
Urchimaru was trapped in the middle. But he wasn't assigned for nothing. He would not go down by these brats. But guys, it'll be in so right here. If you want to next part, don't do like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on that bell notification to stay posted. Remember to share to all of your friends and social media platform. But I'm off for now. See you guys soon. Peace.